So welcome to Virtual Institute for Higher Education and I am your instructor Rizwan Mania. As always, you all know my struggle for APM continues and I will give my best in the current attempt as well to ensure all of the APM students do pass in this very important paper of ACCA. Today's class is about introduction, uh, about making your right mindset about the paper and to tell you what the paper is about, how you have to tackle important things in the exam and uh, obviously uh, what are the key things to focus on. The complete plan will be shared with you. If you are an enrolled student, so you will have a portal that will be given to you where there are lectures available. So you can just watch the lectures and you can prepare yourself. Then there are assignments. So entire plan will be shared with you people. So one very important thing I need to tell you guys that do remain in the session till the end and don't leave the session until and unless uh, we finish the session today because everything, uh, whatever I will be telling you people is important uh, for today's session, okay? So, uh, a quick introduction about myself, teaching ACCA from last 14 years. Uh, as you uh, people know me, I teach paper management accounting, performance management, financial management and advanced performance management, the paper that uh, currently we are having a live class. So, what I personally uh, believe is that those who opt for this paper, very important paper, advanced performance management, uh, your skills will be developed and you can work anywhere around the world, anywhere in the world because this paper is an additional uh, benefit for you. The skill set that will be developed from this paper will definitely help you in your examination. Okay. Uh, I would say I'm lucky here in this case that uh, lots of position holders uh, are my students. Lots of students have secured position in this paper of advanced performance management. And to be honest, uh, this paper uh, is the one in which I have highest number of position holders. Uh, in September 2020 attempt, there was a position holder uh, from <coughs> one country and uh, that was UAE. And uh, he, he secured 68 uh, marks, if I'm not wrong, and he got position uh, in APM. So that was September 2020. So what I want people is to aim for positions. The bigger the aim you have, the more uh, you are able to achieve. So my friends, my effort will be with you. I give my best till the end. I try to uh, help students till the end. My support is till the end. And my struggle for APM, as I mentioned, will continue again in this March 2020 attempt for you people. Okay. So uh, having said that, now it's time to discuss uh, about APM, my experience about APM, the best paper which provides greater information about business and about its strategy. Now, if I say business, so obviously this paper is the one uh, that will develop skills that are required uh, by you when you are doing a job or you are doing your own business. So this paper actually is, uh, is a one that helps you uh, to improve your business performance. This paper is a one that actually helps you to run your business and achieve your uh, aims and achieve your objectives and achieve your dreams. Okay. So very, very excellent paper as far as I'm concerned and those who are opting for this paper, people do opt for this paper globally in big numbers. So I, I think you have done a very good choice and just stick to it. And yes, follow the plans that I will share. Those who understand questions well, uh, will uh, get an extra advantage in this paper. Obviously, if you're able to understand the question well, uh, if you're able to understand uh, the question and you are able to break the question requirements as I will 
uh, teach you lot of things here so you uh, will definitely do great in this paper those who write those whose writing skills are good and can construct some sentences will again have a very good advantage uh, for this advanced performance management exam yeah because the paper is uh, theoretical more compared to calculations uh, around if i say uh, and i'll be honest here 85 percent <coughs> is uh, theory okay and whatever calculations you have in this exam are basically supportive calculations that support your theory so again your skills of writing will definitely matter in this case okay having said that uh now a very interesting thing that is coming up here and that is uh <coughs> who are you in this paper now you have to guess who are you so let me tell you you are a management consultant you are a consultant so you all need to keep in your mind that this paper makes you a business consultant okay so from now from today i will all i will be calling you all as business consultants okay so come on if you want to uh if you want to keep this in our mind so let's do a quick exercise because i believe in interactive class a lot so everybody who is listening me right now can quickly can quickly uh right here uh who are we we are consultants right come on everybody quickly write we are all we are all consultants right yeah we all are consultants come on start writing here i just want to see how many people will write here so yeah it's a quick response i'm getting from you people we all are what guys we all are consultants okay so now let me tell you uh let me tell you uh, what exactly a consultant does now if i say you that you are a consultant and you are a business consultant there are consultant like doctors are consultant like different advisors are consultant uh, like there are tax consultants like there are financing uh, decision uh, financial decision making consultants okay so you are a business consultant and a business consultant is a one uh, that basically uh, know the entire in and out of a business okay now for example if you go to a doctor right if you go to a doctor and uh, you you are sick for example <coughs> you are feeling cold or you have a fever uh, or you or, or you have suffering from headache so you go to the doctor and you tell the doctor the symptoms that uh, you are actually facing okay uh so in return doctor does uh, his or her examination and after that doctor advise you uh, the medicines what you need to take okay uh so uh, uh, now doctor will tell you the medicines plus doctor will tell you this is what you have to do this is what you don't have to do so now listen what i'm trying to say here is that how much trust you have on doctor come on can you tell me do you guys trust doctor say yes or no do you guys trust the doctor let me see people what people are saying so yeah they are saying that we do trust doctor obviously now if you if you're not trusting the doctor then uh, this means you you uh, are not uh, positive about the capabilities of the doctor uh, you don't have confidence over the doctor's skills and expertise okay and if you you say to yourself okay i don't want to follow your plan and I, i'll do what i want to so this means you will not benefit from that checkup okay so because doctor is a consultant doctor completely know the inside and out of everything doctor know the symptoms of the disease and everything so doctor is someone uh, you will be following yes you will be following right so same is the scenario in in your paper as well whatever exam you give okay of apm the diff, there are different questions that are coming in the paper so as you are a patient for that doctor so those questions are your clients okay your questions are your clients and they are coming to you because you are a consultant and they want your consultancy regarding the business okay so let's see what it says what acca uh, paper apm is so it says to exercise 
professional judgment. Now the word is professional judgment, okay? In selecting and applying strategic management accounting techniques in different business contexts and to contribute to the evaluation. A very key word is here, evaluation of the performance of an organization and its strategic development. Now, if you see here, uh, there, there is a very important thing written here, uh, like evaluation of the performance of an organization. Now, this means this is the core work that you have to do. You have to evaluate the performance of an organization and you need to exercise your judgment. Now, judgment uh, is something if you give if you if, if I give you an example of a if a of a judge. OK, now if I say there is a there is a case going on in the court and one lawyer is uh, uh, is is basically uh, fighting uh, in favor of that case and one is fighting against of that case and then what judge will do so judge listen to both the lawyers and at the end of the day the judge gives the judgment okay the judge gives the judgment so <clears throat> judge gives the judgment as to what is bad and what is right and final judgment is given by the judge so because judge has the idea of the entire situation and then judgment is given so exactly this is what you have to do my friends being a consultant the client will come to you client will have certain problems you will understand the problems of the client and then you will suggest them the improvement plans and you will suggest how they can improve their business processes and things like that so remember who you are you are a business consultant now there is one more word that you can see here that is written uh, at the bottom and that is business owner as well okay so yeah oh, what i personally believe is that you uh, also uh, develop the skills of an owner now if you are a consultant you have the entire knowledge of different type of business industries okay and same if you are a business owner so you should know the complete in side and out of your business uh, how your company is performing how the business operations are performing how your departments are performing how the uh, how is the employees performance and things like that so obviously that is something uh, that a business owner needs to know so again i would say that if you want to do your own business so this paper will uh, definitely develop your skills of a business owner and through this paper you can you you can really really uh, achieve good numbers in your business okay so yeah the very common term that i'll be using a lot and that is consultant okay so guys so uh consultants are you all with me a quick yes from everybody are you all with me a quick yes from everybody okay everybody should reply okay okay that's great great now having said that uh, a quick difference between this paper, uh, APM and performance management, the previous exam. So obviously, you need to understand uh, here that there is a difference. Obviously, when I say uh, advanced performance management, so obviously, uh, this paper is an advanced paper of the previous one that was known as performance management. Everybody ha uh, everybody. Uh, of you I'm sure have passed their performance management paper which was previously known as F5 okay so you need to understand that this is not an F5 exam yeah but the techniques that were introduced at F5 level like for example activity based costing I'm sure you know about that uh, target costing you know about target costing uh, you know about life cycle costing and you know about uh, budgets you know about fixed budget, flexible budget, incremental budget, zero-based budget, rolling budget, and activity-based budgets, okay? Uh, you know about uh, financial performance indicators uh, like <coughs> return on capital employed, uh, return uh, operating profit margin, asset turnover, financial gearing, operational gearing, and uh, obviously uh, non-financials, yeah, you, you know about non-financials, <clears throat> for example, percentage customer satisfaction uh, <clears throat> plus number of repeat customers, number of percent percentage customer returns and things like that. Okay, so uh, things are coming up from that paper of performance management. 
again my experience in teaching both the paper is a vast experience of 14 years so i exactly know that where performance management ends and where advanced performance management starts okay so i exactly know the scope uh, of of the topics that will be tested in performance management and that will be tested in advanced performance management okay so i would say here very easily that 60%, 60% of your paper is coming from performance management, okay? But one very important thing. <clears throat> if, for example, if, for example, uh, <clears throat> you were not good in performance management for any reason or you came uh, with exceptions from performance management paper, for it mean, uh, there were exemptions that were given to you uh, because you came from some other qualifications, so there were exemptions that were given to you, or you, uh, what you say, uh, you are not good in performance management. So, uh, you might be thinking that, can you give this paper? Can you uh, attempt this paper? So, listen very carefully. You can easily attempt this paper, uh, irrespective of the fact that you were not good in performance management, or you came through some exemptions and you have not covered performance management because if you if ACCA has granted you exemptions this means you are capable enough to attempt the professional exam so don't worry <coughs> the way I teach the way I teach so any topic that is coming from performance management I will start from that level okay so if you are not clear about that topic you will get the clarity or if you if you are coming from uh, exemptions so again that is not a problem you can easily understand the basics that i'll give you and after that we'll move towards advanced performance management okay so you need to keep this in your mind that i will not skip things i will not skip things in fact i teach in a very 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 detailed way okay so you need to be relaxed here don't be pressurized don't think negative here Rizwan Mania will do his best to ensure that you pass in this very important paper of ACCA. Okay, so 60% is coming from performance management, as I mentioned here. Now, uh, coming towards uh, its link with SBL, Strategic Business Leader Paper, SBL. Okay, so how it is connected with SBL? It's a big, big question. Now, first of all, I need to ask here, anybody who, who has done SBL? Uh, or I would say those who haven't done SBL. So just reply only those who haven't done SBL. Who haven't done SBL. Yeah, please. Those who haven't done SBL, please quickly reply. Okay. Haven't done SBL means that <coughs> you don't have the knowledge of SBL at all. I'm not saying that you haven't passed it. You have studied before, but uh, that is okay. You, you know the things. But someone who doesn't know anything about SBL. Okay, now, SBL, it's good if you, are, if, you're, if you know SBL and you're coming to APM. But, this is not compulsory. So, why? Because the way I teach, the way I teach, I will definitely start from anything that, uh, for example, any topic, I just start from the basics. I will, in, I will assume that you haven't done SBL. Okay? I will assume that you haven't done SBL. So, if you haven't done SBL, no issues. I will start from scratch. I will teach you the topics. And then will tell you how these topics will be tested in APM. Okay. So one, one group of students who haven't done SBL, they don't have to worry at all. They are in a safe position. Now why? Because they don't know what is in SBL. So they will not get confused at all. They don't know what SBL is. And I will teach you the topic, will set up the basis and will tell you how this will come in APM. That's fine. And you are, you, you, you are 
you are in a safe position. Those who haven't done SBL. Those who have done SBL, they didn't pass or they have passed, but they have the knowledge. I will tell you the difference of that similar topic that is similar in SBL and APM. And I'll tell you the difference, how it will be tested in APM differently. So those who have already done SBL, they need to understand in a much better way that what is the difference of a similar topic that is tested in APM and SBL. So how it is tested differently if you compare that with SBL. So listen, those students who are listening to me right now, those who have done SBL, they are well aware of, about this model known as Porter's Five Forces. Try to understand what I'm trying to explain you here. Porter's Five Forces. And those who don't know, no issues. Don't be upset. You are in a much better position, I would say, because I will teach what Porter's Five Forces is and that will be a new thing for you and you will understand very easily. And when you go to SBA later on, it will help you. Those who have done SBL, they know what Porter's Five Forces is. Porter's Five Forces basically is a model through which we understand the external environment. This is what you have learned in SBL. That there are five types of forces. And what are those types of forces? Those types of forces includes, uh, come on, you know the names, you can write in the chat box. <coughs> Threat of new entrants. Bargaining power of suppliers, bargaining power of customers, threat of substitute and competition within the industry. So in SBL, in SBL, we use this model to understand the external environment, to assess the external environment, okay, to assess the external environment. And listen, those who don't have the idea of the model, don't get confused, okay? I'm, I already mentioned that it's good if you don't know. I'll teach you that. I'm just uh, telling the difference to those who all have already done SBL just to give them the idea what is the difference between two and what is the different thing in APM and SBL. So in SBL, you used to use this model for assessing how good the external environment is, which means threat of new entrants, is, is the threat more or less if you if you want to enter to, into a new market. So you need to understand the market dynamics, right? So SBL used to teach you that look whether the threat of new entrant is high or low. It used to teach you look whether there is threat of substitute high or low. It used to tell you look whether the bargaining power of the customer in that market is high or low bargaining power of supply is high or low and try to understand whether the competition within the industry is high or low. This is what SBL used to teach you and through that analysis you used to decide okay should I go into this market? Should I launch this product in, in that part, uh, particular market or not or stay away from that? Okay so that was SBL for you. Agreed? Those who have the knowledge, do you agree with me? Say yes. Okay. Those who have the knowledge, quickly say yes. <clears throat> okay. Now when you are in APM, what difference will be in APM? <clears throat> the difference will be quite simple one. And let me tell you. For example, for example, you are doing a business, okay, and you are already in a market and you're doing a business. Now, everybody needs to understand this. You are doing a business and I will not go into technical terms today, okay. So, I'm just giving you an idea. You are doing a business and uh, obviously, when you do business, you, you face certain uh, problems, you face certain issues, you face certain pressures, okay? So now Porter's Five Forces will basically be used to see 
the impact of these pressures. Now, pressures are coming from where? Pressures are coming from these five forces. As I mentioned, for example, threat of new entrants, which means that uh, if you are doing a business in the market, so there is definitely a threat for you that if people can easily enter into the market, this can have a major impact on your business performance. Try to understand. This is a very key discussion that I'm doing right now. And through this, I will explain you key terms of APM as well. Okay. So, just wait. We, we are having a prayer uh, here. So, just, just, just 30 seconds. Okay. Just 30 seconds I need for the prayers. Uh, the, the prayers is going on. भाई थोड़ी तो अक्कल इस्तेमाल करो विफी के मक पे तो दो कम से कम के पी सको सबके सामने इससे पीऊंगा सबको एडमिट करते रहो हां चेक करते रहो Hold up. Okay, I'm back. So listen very carefully. So now everybody listen. Those who haven't no haven't done this Porter's five forces, they also listen very carefully. Do you agree? that you are selling shoes in the market. You are a shoe manufacturer, okay? If different shoe manufacturers can easily enter into the market, is this a threat for your business? The answer is yes. This is a seriously a threat for your business. Secondly, if you are doing a business and there are substitutes available, substitute products are available substitute of shoes i would say and your uh, and substitute manufacturers who who produce substitute products they are uh, constantly innovating things and making new substitutes of shoes okay so if more and more substitutes are available in the market that is a threat for you it will affect your business same goes for if the customers, the customers to whom you sell your product, if they have a high bargaining power, which means that your customers are in a position to bargain and you have to, uh, you have to uh, accept their condition, you have to accept their terms. For example, they need a huge discount. So you are agreeing to their discount terms because you want business. You are facing pressure. So if customer has a high bargaining power, customer will dictate you. So there's a big threat. Same if suppliers from whom you buy the raw material, if they dictate you the terms as to they are not giving you discounts, they are charging high prices for the raw material and the ingredients, which means that supplier also have a high power. Okay. And last is competition within the industry, which means uh, like you, there are 10 currently business, sorry, there are 10 currently shoe manufacturers also available. The way you manufacture the shoes, there are 10 other shoe manufacturers available in the market. Are you getting the point, guys? This means that if there are other 10 shoe manufacturers available in the market, so there is a very high competition. So try to understand. If you are new to this model, still, new entry will affect your business. Substitute business is going up, it will affect your business. Customer are not... Uh, accepting your terms and asking for a higher discount, this is affecting your business. Suppliers are not giving you discount, this is affecting your business. Competition is very high. For example, your competitors in the industry, they offer huge discounts. So it is affecting your business. 
Now, these are the pressures your business is facing. So, this shoe business came to you and who you are? Come on, tell me who you are. You are a business consultant. Agreed? You are a business consultant. So, that shoe manufacturer came to you, to the consultant and asked you one thing. The shoe manufacturer asked you that these are the pressures I am facing. Please tell me what impact this will have on my business performance management. What impact this will have on my business performance management and what impact it will have on my business performance measurement. Okay, there are two terms that are written here. One is performance management and second is performance measurement. In APM, these are the two very important terms that everybody needs to keep in their mind. What is performance management? Performance management means a system, a system of an organization through which system organization is managing the performance of the entire business including its departments, its managers, its employees, its processes. Okay, so a complete system. For example, a system is required in every house, every office. You live in a family, right? So, do you have any system in your family? Yes, there is. There is a system. When to come home, when to go out, what to eat, what not to eat, with whom you have to travel, with whom you have to go out. Okay? There is a system everywhere. We have a system. And through that system, we are able to improve our home effectiveness. Through that system, we uh, improve the performance of different family members. Okay? Plus, this, this performance system that you have at your home, you need to check whether people are following that or not. So, as I mentioned, having a system at your home, having a system at your home is performance management. So that you are able to, so that you are able to uh, understand, you are able to control the entire home management. You are implementing new policies, rules, standards so that everybody follows that. But at the same time, just having a system without measuring it will be of no use. So at the same time, you need to have measuring system. What is major? The word major means what? Major means check to check it, this is major so performance measurement means to check whether things that you have established here are being fulfilled or not for example for example uh, we work in different offices there is a system that you have to be in office <coughs> nine o'clock sharp now how do you track that how do you measure that you have that fingerprint machine. Every employee when will come to the office will use that fingerprint machine and through this their time will be noted down. And at the end of the month, there will be a complete timesheet that will come to that respective supervisor and supervisor will see, okay, your clock in, your clock out, your clock in, your clock out. This is what you are doing a checking in order to ensure that rules are being followed or not. So, this is performance measurement. Are you getting my point everyone? This is performance measurement. So, I gave you very simple example. At your home, there should be a system to handle everything. And then you also check whether things are working right or not. That is performance measurement. Okay. So, Coming back to the example of that shoe manufacturer, these are the pressures that 
are affecting your business profits. If you are not getting discounts, profits will go down. If your customers are asking discounts, again your profits are going down. Okay? If more people are entering into the market, your market share is going down. If more competitors are allowing discount, this is affecting your profits. So eventually, all these pressures are hurting your business profits and performance. Agreed? So my friends, listen. The business comes to you. You are a consultant and will ask you how these are affecting our performance management systems. How these are affecting our performance management system and how these are affecting our performance measurement system. Are you getting my point? So here the work of consultant will come. Now you will see, okay, these are affecting your performance management. That is, your business profits are going down. Your business profits are going down. You are not achieving your budgets. You are not achieving your targets. Your customer base is going down. Your customers are not happy with you. Now it is affecting your business performance. This is part of this performance management. Okay. So by understanding that how these are affecting our business is performance management. And it is not the end. Once you have understood, okay, our business is going down. These are affecting our business. Substitutes is developing new products. Now you have to come up with, come up with the strategy how to deal with these pressures. Are you understanding the scope of AP, APM? Now you have to come up with the strategy how to deal with these pressures. How to deal with the pressure is what you have to come up then. Then you will advise. This is the work that you have to do. Then you will recommend to your client that this is how you need to handle the pressure. This is how you can do the things. For example, you develop a shoe. Just one example. You develop a shoe. Okay. And that is a very unique shoe. So what you do? You take patent for that. Through this patent, no other person can enter in the market of that particular shoe manufacturing. This patent will help you to protect your business profits. Wow! This is the work of a consultant. Are you getting the point? This is the work of a consultant that you will tell them how to handle the pressure. Okay? How to handle the pressure. So this is what I am telling you about in general, about performance measurement, performance management. So, measurement will help you to check. Measurement will help you to check how much pressure is there. You will measure through different methods. We will learn how to measure this. Okay. And once you have understood, once you have checked, okay, the pressure is too much, then you will advise your client and will tell how to deal with that. So friends, you as a consultant have to assess everything you have to assess the impact of everything on performance management and measurement. So, once you move towards past papers, you will see, remember my words, you will see different things will be asked and every impact will be focusing on management and measurement. Management and measurement. So, what is management? The entire system through which you control the business uh, performance departments and everything and what is measurement measurement is checking whether you are achieving your plans and objectives or not so actually measurement is something that falls under management it falls under the umbrella of management okay so a quick idea i wanted to give you here so those who were not from sbl they just they, they just get, they, they will just get a quick idea what it is all about. And those who were from SBL, I'm sure they have understood the difference between these two. Guys, what's your feedback? Say yes or no.
Okay, understood guys. Okay, so it's just a brief idea. So don't just try to judge things about, it's just a beginning, I'm just giving you the idea, okay? So you are a consultant. I'm just telling you what your role is. Now, the most used examinable verbs that are tested in your paper are here. And the most used is evaluate, evaluate, justify, okay? What evaluate is? Now, evaluate means again, judge. Evaluate means to judge. So, when you just look at the past paper of APM, I think uh, in, in one hundred mark paper, on an average, four to five times you will see this verb evaluate, make judgment. Now, judgment will be done by whom? Consultant. You are a consultant, you will judge. So, how do you judge? You will judge like a normal judge that that uh, that is given by the judge that is given by a judge uh, in a normal way by looking at what by looking at the positives and the negatives. Now positives and negatives. So positive means advantages of something. Yeah, you are right. Negative means drawback of something. Yeah, you are right. But I'm not talking about those general positive and negatives. I'm talking about the positive, negative, according to scenario. A, a best consultant, mark my words, a best consultant is a one who is able to understand the examination scenario. If you read the scenario thoroughly, if you are able to relate things from the scenario, that is your success. And this what I will ensure in this huge course of APM. I have covered almost all the past papers in my videos. You name it and you will get it. I have covered lots of questions, around 50 to 55 past paper questions have been covered in video form. So I, I, I am sure you will not get any such big coverage anywhere globally. I can guarantee you that because the content is too much. The content that I have on my portal is extensive content. And those who will follow everything that is available on our portal, they have a very high chance of passing the paper. But you have to follow my plans. You have to follow my rules. You have to follow my policies. You have to follow what I am saying. If you will not follow, then it can create problems. So my friends, evaluate is the most examined verb of your paper where you have to look at the positives, find out from the scenario, negatives, find out the scenario and then you have to make a judgment and then justify, yeah, a lot of times you will find justification. Now what is justify? Now let me give you a quick example, a very good example. I don't know your age right now, let's assume that you are 26 years old, very young, like me, okay, so I'm young, right, so 26 years old and uh, uh, you want to marry someone you like, okay, so getting married is a good thing, right, so you want to marry someone you like, okay, now your parents are not inclined towards that person, you went to your parents and you explained uh, that I want to marry a certain person and they said, no, 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 you can't, you can't, you can't. And they were like, no, we, we know what is best for you and they started giving you, you know, explanations. Okay, but you insisted a lot. You, you were, you know, you were very much uh, persistent on that. You said, no, if I will marry, I will marry that person. That's it. So finally, your parents uh, said, okay, and they, and listen, and they use this verb, justify why you want to marry. Wow. <coughs> Are you getting my point? Justify why you want to marry. Now, I'm, I'm sure now you will understand this verb uh, in a very 
a great way, in a better way. Justify why you want to marry. Now, tell me what you will say. Come on, I want to say, I want to look in the chat box. Now, what will you reply? Come on, what will you reply? It's a general idea, okay? Nothing to, uh, yeah, how you'll justify. Discuss her prospects. Okay, what else? Discuss the positives. Yeah, negatives. And yes, and yes, you will justify why that person is good for you. Now, when I say good for you, which means considering your scenario, considering your case study, concerning your lifestyle, you will justify to your parents not saying her family will be very happy. No, you will say our family will be very happy. Our, which means you are using the case study, which means you are using the scenario well. Getting the point? You will justify considering your entire house environment. You will say, okay, that person will be good for our uh, for our uh, family, like this, like this, like this, like this. These are positive. We have a good mindset. We do have good understanding, blah, 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 blah. And hundreds of reasons you will tell your parents why you want to marry. Justification. If you, listen, listen. Awesome example. Listen. In this justification, in this justification, if you start explaining your parents, listen, father, the benefits of marrying includes you are on one side and you are more focused in life and you started identifying the positives of marriage. Is this the right answer? Is this what examiner is asking you? Come on, tell me. In justification, you have to tell the general advantages of marriage or you have to tell why you want to marry that person. Come on, getting the point? Yes. Why you want to marry that person? Are you getting my point, my friends? So, clarity is there. You can't write general advantages of marriages. That is out of the box answer. You will not get marks for that. Scenario based. Every justification should be according to the case study. If it is not according to case study, it's useless. You will not get passed. You will not pass, in fact, in AP. Link everything. Then you see another verb, suggest. Again, that suggestion should be considering case study. Everything should be according to case study. So, these are the most used verbs, these, these four that I can show you here, the first four. And these are less used verbs, the last three and things like that, which are more F5 focused verbs. So, my friends, because evaluate, justification, assess, suggestion is all scenario based, that is the work that is performed by a business consultant. So, tell me who you are. You are all business consult and you know the best thing about business consultant is what you know what what is the best thing about a, about a consultant is consultant has the entire business knowledge in apm you will learn about different industries you will learn about different industries manufacturing companies service industry so you will cover wide range of industries in apm because a consultant should have the knowledge of airline company, should have the knowledge of a manufacturing company, should have a knowledge of a distribution company. Getting the point? So this paper will definitely enhance your horizon, will give you great skill set to consider different industries. And that is why I say this is one of the best papers of ACCA. Okay? Now, I hope up till now things are pretty much clear to all of my friends. Okay, guys? Is, is this okay? A quick one. Yes. Is this going good? What's your feedback? 
understanding the things. Yes or no? Okay. Coming back to the paper structure, it's 3 or 15 minutes paper. Again, you have a planning time. You have section A, like the other optionals. Uh, section A will contain a 50 mark question. Compulsory one, scenario based. Okay. Here you will be awarded with the four professional marks. Then section B, uh, where candidates will attempt two compulsory questions of 25 marks each. So there is no choice in the paper and you just have to solve 100% of the paper. Okay. 100% of the paper. So this is the paper structure for you people with no options. Okay. <clears throat> Coming towards a quick brief course outline. There are different topics. This is the same sequence of topics that is covered on your portal. You will start from first topic, mission and vision. Then you will move towards financial performance indicators. Here we will be covering uh, basics of F5. So don't worry about that. As I mentioned, I will cover basics of F5. Then we'll move towards non-financial models. And this is the core area of your syllabus. I think those who will make this area their strength will easily pass, will easily pass in the paper. So it includes different models like balance scorecard, building block model, performance pyramid. These are financial and non-financial models. Very important area. And here I will introduce my magical million dollar categories. Rizwan Mania million dollar categories will be introduced here. And those million dollar categories will help you to handle the answer in the best way. Through these million dollar categories, your direction will never go wrong. And you will understand the requirements and you will write accordingly. This is my promise. Then comes corporate failure. A consultant should know when a business is going towards a failure because your client might be towards a failure. So you need to tell the client, hello, come on, improve your performance. Then budgets. It will be focusing on F5 related budgets. Again, if you, if you haven't done F5 because of the exemptions, no issue. The videos are very detailed one. We are recovering uh, the budgets and then we'll be solving questions, keeping in mind APM. Then divisional performance measurement. This will include again ROI, RI and one very important will be introduced known as economic value added as EVA. Then transfer pricing. The basics will be set in APM. Don't worry. You don't have to revise your F5. You just have to focus on my videos. Current developments, the new things. For example, uh, quality for example, Six Sigma methodology, for example, Kaizen costing and such new developments include uh, the IT related developments like for example, data warehouse, data mining, for example, CRMs, customer relationship management systems. It's very much IT focused as well now uh, because these are new things that have entered in the market and it has a very big impact on the business performance like big data, like integrated reporting, okay, like cloud computing, okay, like artificial intelligence. So these are what covered here. Then not-for-profit organization. Yeah, profit organization do have an objective to maximize profit, but not-for-profit doesn't have that. So as a consultant, you should be best in understanding how to deal with not-for-profit organization. Then external factors will be covering like risk and uncertainty, benchmarking, and then we'll be moving towards some other areas. These other areas are uh, very much related to SBL topics. But once again, I'm telling you, those who haven't done SBL, they don't have to worry. I will ensure things are covered from scratch. Basics. Okay. So this is how your portal has been organized and now I will share the plan as well how I will be uh, covering the topics at the end. Before I do, I just want to tell you how we teach at Wifi very quickly. Wifi 
is Virtual Institute for Higher Education. At WIFI, we offer all the ACCA papers. And for all the papers, we try to make a standard product. Quality is ensured. So our team is working really hard and I am the principal of WIFI. I try my best to give you best quality education. Whether it's AFM, AAA, ATX or APM, SBR or SBL. So our course is very much focusing on recorded sessions, very good learning glass technology recorded sessions with animations as well. You will see a lot of animations in the course. I will, I will be giving you examples and you can see animations coming in front of you. Wow, what a learning it will be. Sometimes I will be in flood. Sometimes I will be in water. Sometimes you will see a plane coming here. So that is what will make excite course really exciting and really easy for you to understand. Then live classes, very important. If you want to pass, you need to attend. I will share the plan of the live class right after this slide. So make sure, just, just mark the timings, just note the timings and do attend the live classes for sure. E-notes are given in your portal and that is something that will help you obviously. Notes are there, you can download the notes for later review. Exam based testing app is a one that is focusing on professional papers because ACCA is moving towards computer based exams. So now testing app is important because if those, if, if those who are appearing for CBE, they need to have a good understanding of spreadsheet and word when you need to type the answer. So our testing platform is completely equipped with, uh, with every important thing that is required for your paper. And you can practice, you can type the answers, you can improve your typing speed if you are going for computer-based examination. So I will definitely cater both the groups of students who are going for manual and both who and the other who is going for CB, I will cover both the students. Then we'll have a mock. And I check mock myself. This is the best part. I will check mock myself. I give my reviews. You know, last time I was checking mocks for a straight 30 hours, straight 30 hours, and I gave the feedback to students. So yeah, mock. Then we'll have a grand revision. This revision is definitely a one that will give you complete APM review in three hours. I'll make APM simple for you in just three hours at the end of the session. And this is one more additional service that we have introduced right now is of teacher assistance. Now this time we have included teacher assistance in all the courses at WIFI, whether it's AFM, whether it's ATX, whether it's SBR, SBL, you will have separate dedicated teacher assistant every time to solve your queries. I will be there. With me is my assistant that will be with me and will help you as well. Assistant can take classes if you want to need further clarification. We'll arrange classes as well for you people. Plus, we will have assignments. I give assignments and there is a there is an assignment policy. You have to submit the assignment. We'll check the assignment. We'll give you the feedback. Assignments are important for APM. If you will not write, you will never get to know your mistakes. So there is a complete assignment plan as well and teacher assistant will be completely be checking your progress. We will tell you your progress. We will tell you whether you are going good, you are going bad, how many topics you have covered, how many assignments you have done and complete tracking will be uh, for each and every student. So WIFI is offering this unique service for the first time globally to be honest and we will ensure that we'll track the performance of each and every individual whether it's SBR, SBL or APM or any paper you take from WIFI. So I want to introduce my assistant here. Mariam uh, is my assistant. Mariam, can you hear me? Please unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Okay, Mariam is the assistant. She will be uh, with me in this entire March 2021 batch and she will also be helping you people as well. Mariam, a quick introduction you can give about yourself. Uh, hello everyone. 
uh, I will be assisting Sir Rizwan for the APM for the March 2021 attempt. And uh, I'll be handling all your queries regarding APM. You can ask anything if you have any issues. And uh, I'll be tracking your progress regarding the contents of APM, regarding your assignments and everything and your attendance and stuff. And uh, best of luck. Thank you. Okay. So as Mariam mentioned, Mariam is not a robot, okay? Mariam is not a robot, so make sure she is a human being, okay? So Mariam did mention that she'll track your performance. Yeah, she will again and again remind you that you haven't covered the topics, the videos. And I'm sure nobody's offering this service right now globally, okay? So guys, at WIFI, our mission is to provide you best quality education. And that is why we have designed such a course for you people. Now let's have a look how we will be covering the course in this two months time. You have a plan in front of you. The topics that I showed you earlier are here with the dates. The dates are ensuring that when you will be getting the access of those topics, it is a drift course, which means you will not get the access of 100% course right from the start. In fact, once these dates will come, you will get the access and I've planned this accordingly so that you have sufficient time to cover things in a very detailed way. So as you can see here, dates are mentioned here according to the topics that are available on the portal and this is how you have to follow your, uh, this is how you have to make your study plan. Just mark the dates, just note down the dates and according to dates, cover up the videos. Then I will be having live classes. The dates are mentioned here. It will be 6.30 Pakistan time, uh, Saturday. Uh, it's it's uh, from 2nd of uh, January 2021. After the new year, we'll have our first official live class. And after that, it will be a weekly live class. So six live classes are planned in which I'll be taking up your queries and make sure you are part of the live class. If you want to pass, you need to be part of the live class. Uh, grand revision and mock will be announced later on. It will be somewhere third or fourth week of February before your examination. In these two months, we will give our best and we will make sure that anyone who follows our plan will pass. Assignments are key. Writing the answers are key. Those who will not submit the assignments, those who will not write the answer, they might struggle in passing the paper. Okay, my friends. So my consultants, if you are here at WIFI, if you trust Rizwan Mania, if you trust our institute, then follow what we are saying. And we will give our best to ensure that you get best quality education. Okay. So I hope uh, the plan is pretty much clear and, in, uh, and which is in front of you. Those who will sign up for the course, those who will enroll for the course, they will get this uh, timetable again on their portal, on their uh, respective class WhatsApp group. So my friends, now uh, before I end the session, I just want to uh, share my number with you people. <clears throat> those who are not registered yet, I don't know whether you are registered or not, those who are not registered yet, this is my personal number. Just save my number, please. Just save my number. And any question you need to ask, you can ask me using this number, okay? If you want to enroll for this very high <coughs> value-added course, so you can WhatsApp our coordinator at this number, which is I'm mentioning here. And you can WhatsApp our coordinator and coordinator will give you the sales detail. Uh, it's the salesperson who will definitely help you to make the registration. My batch has now started officially. We will start giving you the plans. Uh, the timelines are already there. The plan is already there. So make sure if you want to join my course, do not waste your time and we will not waste your money for sure. I will give my best. You know, I help students till the last day of the paper. You can ask your friends if, you, they, if they've taken classes from me before, whether it's any paper that I teach, I help till the last day. And this is what support is all about. This time, as we've added the teacher assistance as well, I'm sure it will further enhance your support and give you the confidence that is required for the paper. So guys, I hope this is all good for you. Come on. Uh, <clears throat> If you want to enroll, 
please send me the WhatsApp message or the coordinator and we'll help you out. As for the books, yeah, it's always good to read books. If you have time and you do have time, so you can read uh, BPP. BPP is, uh, is a good book for APM. Uh, if you have time, you go for BBB. If you quickly want to uh, brush up the things, you can go for Kaplan. Kaplan is more summarized. BPV is a more detailed book. So those who are not working somewhere, they can go for BPP. Those who are working, have less time, can go for Kaplan. But yeah, it's advisable to read books because it gives you the clarity. But book is not enough until and unless you uh, develop the skills, the mindset to pass the paper, you will not be able to pass and this all will be developed in my online course that is available for you people and will help you to ace in your APM exam in March 2020. Guys, I want a quick feedback from you people. How was the class? Okay, guys, come on. How was the class? Did the class went well? A quick one from everyone. Did you understood the paper? Was the introduction good? Did you understand what benefit the paper will give you? Okay. Is the plan good for all? Come on, please. Everybody should be giving the feedback because I believe a lot in feedbacks, okay? Was the session good for you people? Say yes or no. Okay, now as for what material will be available and what is the deadline for registration and what is the course fee, you can please WhatsApp our coordinator at this number or you can even ask me as well and I'll give you the details but make sure time is short. If you want to go for APM with Rizwan Mania, don't waste your time and be part of my course and together we will ensure that you all pass in APM, okay? For distinction students, I will definitely tell those students what they can do to achieve positions. In past, people have done. And this time, again, I hope for the best that people do get the positions. Guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for trusting Wifi, for trusting Rizwan Mania. Thank you very much. Uh, after this session, after 30 minutes, after three to four minutes, we are starting with AFM live class as well. Those who are interested in AFM, AFM, please join our AFM class with Sir Taha Popatia. And then later on today, we'll have at 9.30 AAA live class as well. So if you are planning for these papers, come on, trust me and do attend the first live sessions. Anyways, take care. Uh, see you then. And... I'll be covering APM for March 2021. Both CB and Manuel, Rizwan Mania, signing off from Wifi. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.